Hello, my Samuel Sunday School friends. How are you? I hope that you're all doing well. We're really praying hard so that this quarantine will be over so we can all meet each other again at church. But today, I want to share with you a message about Abraham. You've all heard that Abraham is the father of our faith, right? But what does that mean? Well, it means that Abraham's children are the ones who get to go to heaven. So that's why we must become Abraham's children. So how can we do that? Well, the Bible tells us in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, that everybody who belongs to Jesus Christ is a child of Abraham. That's why we must belong to Jesus. We must believe in Jesus. We must follow Jesus so that we can become children of Abraham. And furthermore, the Bible tells us we need to learn about Abraham's life so that we can have the faith like Abraham. That's how we could become Abraham's children. So today, we're going to learn about that one incident where Abraham separated from Lot. And through that incident, we're going to learn what kind of life did Abraham live. Abraham, as the forefather of our faith, lived a life of faith that we must follow. When God called Abraham and told him to leave his homeland, Abraham obeyed and he left. And he also took Lot with him. Remember, Abraham was Lot's uncle and Lot was Abraham's nephew. And Lot's father died when Lot was very young. So Abraham loved him like his own son. He took care of him. And Lot followed Abraham wherever he went. When Abraham left his homeland, Ur of the Chaldeans, he took Lot with him and they went to Haran. And when Abraham left Haran again, he took Lot with him and went to Canaan, the promised land. And when there was a famine in Canaan, Abraham took Lot with him and went down to Egypt. So you see, wherever he went, Abraham took Lot with him. So Abraham and Lot left Egypt and came back to Canaan, and they were both very wealthy. But the land could not support them because they had such great possessions. And so their shepherds started to argue against each other. So Abraham said to Lot, Hey Lot, let's not argue like this. Because we're relatives. We're family. We shouldn't be fighting like this. The whole land is there before us. So why don't you choose where you want to live? If you go right, I'll go left. If you go left, I'll go right. So even though Abraham was older and he was the uncle, and Lot became rich because of Abraham. And yet, Abraham did not choose first. He gave Lot the first choice because Abraham was a holy and godly person of faith. So what did Lot do? He looked around to make the first choice. And when he saw the plain of the Jordan where Sodom was, he saw that there was lots of water there and it was green and fertile and lush 
and looked very good and looked like the garden of the Lord. So Lot chose Sodom and went to live there. But Abraham, but Abraham stayed, stayed in Canaan. Can 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 so what were the outcome of their choices? Well, we know what happened to Lot, right? The people that were living in Sodom and Gomorrah were very wicked. So God judged them. He rained down fire and brimstone and destroyed that land. And God only saved Lot because of Abraham. Because Abraham prayed for him. But when Abraham chose to stay in the land of Canaan, God was so pleased with him that God appeared to him and said, Look around you and walk to the north, to the south, to the east, and to the west. All that you see I will give to you and to your descendants. So God blessed Abraham because Abraham obeyed God's word. So my beloved Samuel friends, what do we need to learn from this? First, we must be willing to share first like Abraham. Remember, Abraham gave Lot the first choice, even though he was older. This shows how humble and generous Abraham was, just like Jesus. In Acts chapter 20, verse 35, Jesus said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Secondly, we must be willing to trust and obey God's word more. Abraham trusted God more than his own eyes because he saw exactly the same thing that Lot saw. And it was very green and nice, and he must have wanted to go there too. But Abraham trusted in God's word and obeyed God's word, so he stayed. So we must be willing to share first, and we must be willing to trust and obey God's word more than our own eyes and our desires. As 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 says, we live by faith and not by sight. Remember that. Live by faith.